What's up guys, Dave with Build Alpha. I wanna talk about um, some new additions and features to Build Alpha in late April, 2017. Um, the first one is we added three new fitness functions. Now again, fitness functions are what um, the software will try to optimize. Um, so basically it will find strategies that do very well um, in this specific category. So for example, you could have PNL sharp ratio, PNL to drawdown ratio. Um, the three we've added are at the bottom. So correlation coefficient is basically how linear is your equity curve or your account growth. Um, CAGR is just the compound annual growth rate. Um, and T-test is basically uh, st a statistics test to see um, how statistically significant um, your average trade uh, is. Is, it, is the average trade actually greater than zero um, by chance or because there's actual edge in the strategy? Um, so those are added. Now if I go to the service settings, um, you could see uh, a lot of people like to either e enter or exit on this bar's close or the next bar's open. I know a lot of tr uh, retail platforms are different. So now Build Alpha gives you the possibility to search for strategies using either criteria. Um, and account starting value is added. This is uh, for the CAGR comp, uh, calculation. So make sure you are um, using something appropriate there if you tend to look at CAGR. Um, the next two features, this versus other symbol. So what this does is it allows you to plot any strategies you find against some other markets. Now the reason you'd want to do this is in case you found a strategy that was curve fit or too specific to the market you were researching, you'd want to see how it does on other markets. Because if a strategy doesn't generalize well, um, that is perform um, you know, equally well on other markets, it might be curve fit um, or too specific to the market you found. Um, so that's another feature, and I'll show you a visual example of that in a minute. Um, the other feature that we've added is this invest cash um, symbol. So this is, say you have a trading strategy that when the condition is true, it goes long uh, SPY, the S&P 500 ETF. Now when that condition is not true, almost all trading platforms um, and system developers will just put that money in cash. Now what Build Alpha allows you to do is build these regime switching models that say, if the condition is true, buy my desired market, but if the condition is false, let's invest the cash elsewhere. So you could build some models, for example, that would buy stocks when they're above a moving average, or invest the money in TLT, the bond ETF, uh, when stocks fall below the moving average, for example. And I'll show, um, again, some visuals of all these features in a second. So I picked 500 random signals on the S&P 500. And we're just gonna run this uh, so we have some data to look at the features. So if you scroll far to the right, you can see we've added columns for the correlation coefficient, um, the t-test and the compound annual growth rate. And if I look at the individual equity curve, um, again, the highlighted is just the out of sample trades. Now it looks like we have a really good strategy, but if I hit this versus others button, it plots how it did against green uh, CL, which is oil futures, NQ, which is the NASDAQ futures, and uh, GC, this red line, is the gold futures. Now, it doesn't look like this strategy does so well against other markets, so it may be specific to the S&P 500. And again, some people are okay with that. Some people like to see the strategy generalize as well. Um, and now Build Alpha gives you at least the opportunity to take a look at that. Um, another big update uh, feature is if you go to portfolio mode and I have some random strategies in here, we have added this minimum variance testing. So what this does is it shows the efficient frontier or uh, modern portfolio theory. Essentially what it does, whatever strategies you have selected, you can see I have three uh, random strategies selected there. It will show the um, best way to weight those three strategies to optimize the sharp ratio. So you can see on the left hand uh, y axis we have the expected return in dollar amounts for one year and on the y, uh, x axis we have the expected volatility in dollars uh, for one year and you can see if we adjust the weights randomly um, you know we get a different uh, theoretical sharp ratio for those strategies so this can basically show you um, how you should weight your strategies to optimize your sharp ratio and again, this red dot is just even weight. So that means you would trade the same amount um, on each contract. Uh, that's the sharp ratio that it would get you. So in this example, uh, even weight actually does fairly well. 
Uh, but anyway, just another tool to help you guys realize, um, you know, your best trading performance. Uh, that's the hopes. Uh, so if you have any questions or comments, uh, feel free to send me an email, david at buildalpha.com. Uh, if not, I'll catch you guys in the next one.